What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, we really, really strongly defended a Prussian attack on our forces. So I'm a bit reluctant to do much manoeuvring in this area in order to keep my armies in, an air, in, in close enough proximity to support each other. Russia has declared war on me, so we're now pushing up in the Caucasus with our priests ahead of us to help uh, reduce enemy religious tensions. And yes, in general, I think things are doing... things are okay. We're getting a good amount of money each turn, and it is growing. So let's keep our priests moving up. I mean, I would rather not be at war on such a massive front, personally. Because right now I'm at war with pretty much <laughs> the entire area in the Caucasus. So I'd, I would like another army in that area just to, just to help support. See, that's a lot of Prussian troops. I may even fall back there. So how bad are we screwed? Not screwed at all against them, because they are very weak. And the reinforcement, the reinforcing Austrians are also very weak. Um, yes. Let us kill these men. In an efficient manner. I would like to, if I can make some real gains in the rear areas of Russia, that would be handy. Because even though they're not great regions to own, um, but they're fairly safe because they can only be attacked from a certain amount of directions. So, let's deploy in a manner um, expected of us. And I will go back and make sure the units that can deploy defences are using them. You need to spread out a bit more. You need to spread out a bit less. Then my other gunner set up. Okay, so you two can both deploy trenches. Mamelukes are one flank. Probably with the camels and the royal... Actually, let's get the royal Mamluk guard and the camels together. To provide some support. So you can deploy trenches and then this Semat Janissary unit. Ah, the Royfulman unit. You can go here and deploy stakes to help complicate any flanking manoeuvre with cavalry. Same here. We have another Semat unit which I will probably put like here. And Janus three Musketeers just put one in front. Let's split up our artillery units. They will, they will initially fire round shot until the enemy gets within range of a carcass shot. So I was, in, I was expecting there to be some... Oh, General's dead. So I want to get these guys behind the line quickly. Is this the garrison in here? Oh no, this is the original attacking force. The garrison is coming in from over here. And then this must be the Austrians. Yep. With their elite contingent, but uh, pretty small. Oh, your second band janissaries. I thought you were a rifleman. My mistake. With your, you've only got pistols after all. Okay, let's get our. Mobile support over here as well. Oh, 
miss took out four members of the general's bodyguard. Take out the general's bodyguard. You probably don't bother now. Just go after the artillery. Oh yes, the one stake I've got. Oh, they're about to charge into it. Let's get my how it's just to start dropping targets onto this flank maybe even pull this formation back hmm, there's not a lot of room to maneuver get engaged as well. Set one unit to get ready to start engaging. God, the Fusiliers, they're really determined to stop my cavalry from having any fun. Then again, as am I. Gunners with carcass shot, don't even waste your time. Managed to get a handful of fusiliers. Let's keep our camels and cavalry back so we don't lose any to stupid deaths. So they will outshoot us. But this is why we have artillery support. And they may even deploy. Mameluke unit in the centre to go chase down the uh, the routing artillery. Here comes, here comes the Freikorps line infantry. The engineer is doing well. So did they deploy stakes in the end, or did they chicken out? Some of them did. And actually, you might have to stay here. One of them might have to stay here, because it looks like they might try and charge us. off that big line of stakes. I do see them. The Grenadiers will probably recover. Yeah, they did. I oh, hope they may suffer once more. There we go. Massacre the Grenadiers. Granted, these guys are in the uh, garrison, so they're not a massive threat to us. Go charge the six pounder. Let's go intercept the horse guards carabiner regiment with my camels. You just go chase down someone. Oh, 
down. They're in a bad position now. They're in a very bad position. I don't want them to charge. Yep, charge the militia because they're wavering. Nope. Get out of there. Go hit the guard engineers. Let's get our guys dropping around shots onto people. So their horse guards are doing a good job against camels. Let's bring my cavalry back to help make sure we take them out. Push up. Let's make sure we retarget our artillery. Yeah, our camels aren't actually. Horse Guard Cavalry might be the one that does the trick against our camels. melee infantry in there to support. We're doing a number on the on the guard cavalry. Let's push up our line to give our cavalry some support. Okay, camels, you go after the dragoons. The Mamelukes can take out the Mullendorf dragoons. Let's get the houses to start dropping shots onto the marines. Get into the Grenadier Guards. Don't know why you're retreating into the spikes around that long what that long direction, but Okay, let's get up there and go hit their artillery. Come on, Semat Janissaries. Let's get you involved. Get my general involved. So you guys go take out their, their artillery. You guys nail it in, but I don't think any of these are... It's the infantry I'm most bothered about, but most... Most units are pretty weak anyway here. Oh, my gen- <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. I completely- left. How many pe How many of you guys were going, No, the spikes! Nope, completely forgot. I was wondered, how did, how's he dying? Why is he dying? That doesn't make any sense. And suddenly, oh no. The spikes. Yeah, the 
camels are finally dead. Don't worry, my Janistries will take out the remnants of this line infantry. I mean, you guys definitely keep going after whatever infantry that are left. You guys come after the Prussian Fusiliers. So there's one gunner somewhere. Or is he dead? I think he's dead. Let's get on the flank. These are elite infantry after all, so my infantry will not be able to outshoot them so we need to really do work let's go after the line infantry there's only 18 of them God, these poor marines they've been hacked in half Take out the Fusiliers. Good. Keep on killing them. But to be honest, I kind of hope the, uh, the Austrians stay around for a little bit to give me more chance or more opportunities to chase down and kill some of these other units. But one of them's finally broken. But suddenly, these guys are now the better targets, I think. So one unit to keep keep on chasing down the Okay, hold on. Cavalry are upset because they're being attacked by artillery. There we go. There we go, then ignore this unit of line infantry and go hit the line infantry guards. So we'll need to recruit a new general after this, naturally. Good old line infantry guards. Although these guys are definitely gonna route gonna successfully route. They're too spread out for the AI to uh, pathfind effectively. Unless, of course, they decide to change direction. In which case then, five, it's only five of them left. Come on, I keep right clicking because it seems always seems to ref refresh their logic. Whew, nice. So this army is taking a bit of a pounding, so if they get attacked again we're probably going to fall back. But that's them gone, they're gone. Prussians are attempting a flank, it looks like, so I might fall. The army that's to the south uh, of Hungary, they may fall back and go around, ready to fill up the gap. I do appreciate I'm not really doing anything there. It's mainly because there's a large concentration of enemy forces, and I want, if, if there is to be an attack, I want to be in the best position to maximise my damage to them especially because i'm now advancing in so many areas um i don't want to be 
more imams. So you're going to Ashtakan. Prussia is on the move. Newtown emerges. Herat in Afghanistan. Traits gained. Oh, Karaka. Muteferika. It's really good at converting Europeans. So you... Oh, sorry, what did you go on to? Light Infantry Doctrine. Yeah, don't worry about Light Infantry Doctrine. You go on to... Chess boat. No. Aha! Quick lime shells. Let's also pick up the next level naval college. We're building an ordnance board, or we've built an ordnance board already. Construction complete. Madrasas, ordnance board, new farms. Okay, let's make sure we do optimize or we attempt to optimize our spending so you're very poor very poor lots of these re lots of this region is very poor although they are growing quickly build another carpet weaver and let's build the iron workshop let's take these men Let's not recruit a general, let's reinforce them, primarily. So these guys are a splinter force. So what I might do is move them round to here, just to cut them off from any easy attacks. These men may march over here to help support this part of the battlefield. Okay, we're getting a lot of town growth here. Um, let's send... No, I need to spend next turn just building up this guy. But right now we're drawing in their troops around here, around Laval. You're going to march on to Chekask, which is going to be an auto-resolve. Yeah. This region is ours, and obviously we can't do anything about it. But then our agents. So we're gonna, we've got an agent going to Astrakhan, one going to Kazan, one going to the Crimea. One might, you might go to Bashrika. I'm not so bothered about trying to convert Moscow itself, because it will probably have its own religious buildings offsetting it. Although it looks like the Prussians are actually raiding it. So lots of successful missions. Ancillary gained. Damat Ali, European turncoat. Oh, it's one of his followers. Plus one to command when attacking on land. Awesome. Some, we've got some artillery that was going to move north, I believe, into this army here. But right now, I'm fairly content at just holding here, tying down a large portion of their forces so we can actually make gains over in the east. I think that's a good idea. Especially as we really don't want to overcommit ourselves. And looks like there is a Russian stack actually on the uh, Dagestan border. course if they do weaken the center then we will attack okay they need to be intercepted with the army from the fort we can't allow them to advance through the gap we're defending it's a prussian army so it's lots of similar troops we've already fought plus a slightly newer formation so let's do it There it may be a case to pull this army back for some replenishment, but then that does mean we, we do just need more troops in order to keep cycling armies in and out of the front line. Because right now we actually have 
for the number of fights we're actually getting into, we don't actually have a brilliant deployment of troops. Or a brilliant uh, quantity of troops. That should read. So much so, this time I'm going to have to be a lot more forthright in my application of melee infantry. Let's put some Janistery Grenadiers out on this flank as well to help do a bit of that. But I am going to be defensive, primarily. Camels are pretty much useless. But thankfully there are general. So we're going to absolutely bomb the hell out of these guys. Goes the general. The reinforcements coming in from a long way off. We can't attack the town. It would be interesting to take the town, but let's let them. Let's let them throw themselves at us from range, where we can maximise our artillery effect, especially as they're. They're done for. Lots of carcass shots. So much so, their troops just melt. Okay, change our targets against this regiment of horse, because they're not charging, but they are in the mix. So they ride over the hill. Artillery shots whizzing overhead. If you guys don't make your mind up where you're going to attack, you're going to end up routing. Switch both my howitzers to round shot. So I think they're, they're, they'll probably be a bit more useful in intercepting the enemy with round shot rather than uh, with carcass shots. Next target. They're probably going to come back. Well, they will come back. Especially as... Okay, the Prussian force is coming in first. The Austrians are following up. Although they're... They're mostly intact. Part these guys back a little bit, especially if they fancy charging. So let's drop these guys into square in case they change direction. But they've got themselves a lovely, lovely cavalry defence to charge into. It's so already wavering. Losing decisively. Those are words we like to see. Let's make sure we change our artillery targets. Yeah, the enemy have uh, been repulsed. No easy cavalry targets here. Oh yes, please. More cavalry for the stakes.
Ooh, damn. Carcass shot inbound. It looked like it was fairly precise, actually, there. My sec bands stay where they are. Because the Austrians are coming in from a different bearing than the Prussians. Oh, the regiment, this fourth regiment of horses come back. Nope, there they go. Death's head hussars. I remember them. They're pretty cool. Here we go. The first, first regiment of foot Western European infantry mercenaries. Yeah, you can pick at them with canister shot. You can blast the hussars with canister shot if you've got any. That you're about to fire. Beautiful. Just let themselves throw themselves against my formation. Cannons firing. Let's push up the sec band grenade, the sec, sec band janissaries. Yeah, we've got a handful of them. Pushing up into close range. With the marines in tow as well. You need to do work, men. This is no rabble of mindless Prussians. So the bulk of the enemy forces are now coming in on the right. Or it looks like they kind of can't make up their minds. the regiment foot Musketeer V Levald IR V number fourteen. Yeah, they look pretty neat. But they will die just just as the rest. Our job here is to survive and endure. Twenty-first foot guard have routed as the artillery keeps on dropping. So the Austrians are... they're not advancing in the conventional sense, so we may take this as an opportunity to advance ourselves. Obviously once we've had a good shot at... once we've cleared the way with the last of these... infantry units. So this special regiment is... that's taking its sweet time in getting into position. Looks like it will suffer for that indecision. Hey, those European infantry were hidden. Were hiding. Were hidden. 
They were hidden. They were not hiding. They were hidden. Yeah, I'm speeding up time just because this is fairly to be expected. So they're pushing up close, but they're going to break and route because even at close range, Ottoman infantry is pretty darn good. No, oh, they're actually... No, okay. Artillery hit the 29th. The carcass shot inbound. Straight through the middle of them. Okay, it's on limber. do have to bear in mind that we are not invincible. We are Ottoman troops. We do not um, have the ability to beat the Austrians man for man. So let's speed up a bit of time while we deploy forward. Let's carefully negotiate our troops around these barricades because they do struggle in crossing them. So the bulk of their men are all together. It looks like they don't really want to attack. I mean, if they want to do it this way, then I will do this. I will do this. Janissaries take the take the fort. The Janissaries are here ready to plunge onto them. Let's get our howitzers over on the left more so for support you guys need to run to get into position might even bring an extra unit of infantry over onto this flank because that's where the bulk of their troops are going but I would love if this guy, these guys could get onto the walls capture them and then start to run up and take fire positions here to fire into the flank of the Austrian position. I suppose the 18 pounds is probably the most useful over here, but I doubt they'll ever actually get to uh, get to that position. you get. Maybe even something like that to make sure they don't attempt to flank you and interfere with our capture of the uh, the walls. Actually, let's go over here. Although there's no real point charging them anywhere until they're up on the wall completely. Let's 
You guys need to unlimber and open up quickly. And we need to push up our troops in order to maintain fire superiority. And let's push up our Semite Janissaries around the flank. These guys are looking a bit uncomfortable now. So it may want to deploy something like that instead. Come on, you men. Climb the walls as quickly as you can. Present and open fire. Deploy and square. these men up. God, they're going to charge us. Run men over here. charge the mercenaries with my janissaries so I can try and run men around this fight to help cut off reinforcements. You men go straight into the gunners, the Royal Mameluke Guards get ready. Charge. Well, you keep Hussars tied, tied down. You men fire, go straight into the 6th Regiment. A second band Janus should take you out. Winning decisively against this regiment. Smash my cover into there as well. So get my Janissary Guards to continue their drive. Attack the 8th foot, eight foot Guards. These men up. Sec Band Janissaries can also join in the fight. So the 8th Foot Guards is currently in a bit of a pickle. God, they're arcing in that shot. Nearly killed a bunch of my own dudes. Okay, let's take everyone that's line infantry, push them up. Second band janissaries get around the flank. There go the foot guards. Let's continue to push around the forts. Yep, the foot guards have come back temporarily. These men are not in a position to provide any sort of musketry against the enemy. You may as well take down the Grenadier Regiment. The 
Semat Janissaries get in there. These two uncommitted units. You push on. As we drive around the town. Yeah, you guys are a bit stuck now, aren't you? Chop them up. Oh, come on, you kill these guys. There's only two of them. Demats, stay where you are, these men. You take him out. Take out that one guy. Yeah, looks like... Austrians are going to get gunned down for supporting their Prussian dog friends. As my grenadiers march up to get into position. Come on, you kill one guy. Good. Now get over here. You hit the foot guards. Who are they? Oh, they're infantry guards, but there's six of them. Very tempting target. I think it's probably going to be time to speed the recording up, I think. Zoom. This is the true route through. Yeah, we're going to continue. Damn. Not going to do anything crazy. We've just got a good opportunity to do a lot of damage. Especially in a part of the map that we actually need to do as much damage as possible. That's the great ideas dealt with. Light infantry guards are soon going to be dealt with. The grenadiers are only down to 21 men. Halt artillery fire. Five engineers remaining. One engineer remaining. Come over here and help out. Camels are too slow, so I'm not bothered about bringing them over. And they likely won't be needed. Not compared to my Royal Mameluke Guards, who've only lost one man. The edge of the map is right there. Good. We got him. That wasn't close. That's quite a nice little battle, actually. Quite a few defined phases in it. But there we go. We lost 800 men. They lost almost 3,000. Dead. Dead gone. The territory is ours. Hmm, the Russians are going to be annoying with their small stack. The fools. But we do have to move to intercept that Prussian army that's coming around the flank. Yes, see. This is the perfect outcome for us, because they get to kill each other, and, you know, they weaken each other. And we will sweep in to uh, pick up the victorious pieces. Yeah, if I was Russia, I'd be deeply concerned. they got a big, strong Russia on the front lines. They've also got 
um, some <laughs> Russian troops running around the rear. Okay, let's just take the entire stack out here. Hit Mr. Tamikinov. Kill him. Okay, you replenish. I'm glad this army's now inside. So, Mr. Ifendi. So, we had Defendi and Ifendi. Uh, okay, so who do we want where? You could probably do with intercepting them. Kurt Christoph Becker. Well, no, you're going to intercept them. That's what you're going to do. But first, actually, we're going to do some some upgrades. First let's pick up these buildings that have been these uh, uh, industries that have been built on the map. Let's make sure we get those guys progressing. Up the tree. Good stuff. We've still got our they're not our spies exactly but they're People spreading the word of our god ahead of us. Which may cause uh, may cause internal problems for our enemies, which is lovely. So we've taken Laval, but I can't fix it yet, because I've spent all my money already. Then let's take this guy out, march him south. And then hit Mr. Becker. But, looking at the timer, we've gone over the limit by a huge amount so what we're going to do is end the episode there everyone so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time i'm going to go sort out some food because i am ravenous cheers everyone